five. First frame between George Gibney of Equus, B of Navin, and Molly McGovern of the Lock Crew in Cadles. George breaking off. Money deciding to take the small balls. Potting one. Going for the six ball in the corner. Good shot. Now this is George Gibney of Equus B on the high balls. <coughs> George taking the nine into the Santa Papas. Good shot from George. George, a very shrewd player. Taking the eleven into the corner. And party that. Leaves himself fairly safe. Probably play a safety shot now, running the weight up the top cushion. George, better known for his boxing skills. A former Leinster champion at nine stone seven. I hope, I hope he hasn't used them talents when this game is over. Good shot from George, even the brown ball over the bottom corner. <coughs> Molly McGovern on the blue, decides to play safe. George playing another safety shot. Played the wrong shot. Leaves himself in the hard ball now. He'll have to play a safety up the table with the white ball. Not much shots Miss Snooker yet. Safety stroke, which doesn't work out too well for him. Our referee tonight, by the way, is Martin Smith, the secretary of the Navin Boo League. George insisting on playing safety again. George on the eye ball into the corner. Good pass from George. Still low of position, not much hope of having one here. Just as a tip. Not even a chance here now of getting a snooker off the top. Hard look for a snooker. Still leaves George fairly safe. The ball is not lying too nice for George now. Good shot from George. Great shot from George. on the low balls, playing the red. <coughs> Molly can be very good at times. 
he's a kind of a player we don't know too much about around Avon. Great shot, George. Very good. A better shot from Mali. George, on still lying safe. Shot from Mali. It's still playing a very open game. Made that player going for snookers. <coughs> George will probably move to blue ball out of safety, but decides to go for the green again, does he? <coughs> George studying very hard. This could be a crucial shot for him. George playing at 12 hour. Not, not a great shot from George, but still had a chance of getting another one in the middle. A very good shot from George. But Molly here with a chance of finishing up. Good shot from Molly. Molly on the blue ball into the corner behind George's. Good shot from Molly. Very near the middle, but just misses it. This game could be over. Should be simple enough behind the last three balls now. Goes out of position. It was a very poor shot from Mali. What could redeem himself here? Still, Mali with a bit to do. Red ball fairly safe. Although it's lying next to the pocket. Now, George with a bit of a chance for a snooker. George will probably tip in behind the blue and cover the black at the same time. Not a bad shot from George, but should be easy enough. Good shot from Mali, but still in a snooker position. Only going for the black ball. He couldn't go for a cross. <coughs> but still a hard shot. No one if he misses, George could be in by a chance of finishing. Decides to tip in. But George must rate this a good chance. Very hard to get a snooker. George's sides. Probably to run the white up the table, keep the black ball safe. A very good shot from George. A great pass. And this, another hard shot for George. But the way he's playing at the moment, nothing, nothing could be too hard. Brilliant stroke from George. But not too nice in the black. Tips the hand to the bottom cushion for safety. This could be. Oh, how it George 
difficult shot to get safety off now. Say it's a tip in again. Is calling George Guggy, which is well known by you, Navin. Another difficult shot to get safety off. This could be, could be a chance. I don't think George will go for that one, but. Owen George. And the way he's looking at it. He senses he could get a knockout here. He's put a good few down and he's there. But I think he's going for safety. Good shot from George. Mali with a difficult stroke now to find safety here. But this has to be a chance for Goggy. A hard, difficult shot in the middle. But must have a chance to put this one away. Oh, bad luck. Now, I think we'll have to call in Danny Fitzpatrick for a shot at this. <laughs> this wouldn't be too difficult for Danny, of course. Oh, and George. It looks hard enough. It looks to be tight. But that's the way George likes them. On another miss. And this is getting exciting. Still mal. Mal will probably go for this in the bottom. And misses. And it's coming out. This is it. This is a chance George has been waiting for. And he's going for the knockout here. Put his team one up. And what a reception for George as he goes back to his teammates. Molly very disappointed. That's a very good start for the underdogs. Oh, our old friend walking away there. Leave me alone, Teddy. Gone into the back. And we have Eamon back again. Looks as if he's coming in next. And there's our chimney man. That's him. <laughs> Very hard to recognize him when he's dressed up like that. <laughs> that's that's our, the millionaire of Navin. Clean enough. <laughs> <laughs> it looks of, as if we have Paul Usher from the Lock Crew, and it could be Eamon Farley for Equus B. Both of them are talking out. But there's our Yorkie. See Tony Callahan setting the ball up. Tony is our referee for this game. Of course, we, I hope we haven't got another Jack Taylor. Yes. Paul Usher for the lock crew. And Fred Nelson for Equus B. And Fred wins the toss and decides to take the break.
Fred with a win last night in the Equus tournament over John Fitzpatrick should feel confident that he can put his teammates two up. Horse Paul. A bit of a hurricane in the round all lately. Believe he's making a good living up that way. Much to the expense of Shorty Leach and Joe Burton, to name a few. Of course, I hope there's no tax men round. Good pot there from Paul, leaves himself on the low balls. Size so to go for this one, I'd say you could go for the top. White ball safety, no. Fred should have been easy pot from the brown to the top. Good shot from Fred. This man should be bubbling with confidence. Playing very well lately. Good shot there from Fred. At least the green ball. Referee says touching ball. But that still says he, he should be able to play the green ball as there's no push foul in the pool game today. Of course, we're playing to the English pool rules. Good shot from Paul. Decides to move Fred's ball away from the pocket. But Fred. Good shot from Fred. Bad luck, that's a foul. Fred probably put his ball across. But Miss Hughes. Oh, it looked very suspicious there at the referee, but it definitely wasn't a foul shot. Tony, very careful of referee. Oh, he'll probably run the white up the table, which he does, looking for a snooker, which could be a very good shot from Paul, but I doubt if he got a snooker. Fred playing the purple into the corner. Not so nice. Balls all lying out in the open. Any player could have a chance of finishing from that position. Paul, Paul playing the five. Just about to fall now, Paul would have a good chance. Just lies in the jaws. What will Fred do? Will he move him away from the pocket if he does? What's there? Fred. Begin to fall back a bit to this frame. Should be an easy enough shot there for Paul to put the green over the corner. But he could lie in behind it too. But he probably decided to put the green over. Nice shot from Paul, but Fred with a bit of a chance. Play the yellow in the middle. Want to mind the red ball. Good shot from Fred. And this ball could cross behind the green. 
Fadis lakukan hari. Fred going for the cross. A great shot from Fred. Puts him back with a great chance. And leaves Paul with a bit of thinking to do. He'll probably move the green away from that pocket. How will he cover the ball? Oh, a good shot from Paul. Three gains advantage of the pocket. Will Fred go for a rep? He's looking out. <laughs> oh, he plays it very easy. And leaves Paul now. Well, Paul had looked favourite from this position now. Score being 1 0 to Eckers B. Paul was to win here, he'd. Level the score. As you can see in the background there, there's a fair good crowd. With a bus load coming from Kells. Well, I should I say a half bus load? <laughs> I heard Daddy Rogers was complaining, so there must be only half full. And the referee in our way. Fred must have played a good shot there. Now, Paul going for the red ball up along the ocean. Good shot from Paul, but just didn't cover the pocket and leaves Fred with a chance of getting his ball in there. And the ball falls on Brad. Brad, just three balls left. Brad shot from Fred, putting the black ball over the middle. He should have been trying to keep it safe. Maybe he was. Ball playing the blue ball. Good shot. And this game could be on. Yellow ball onto the red into the middle. If he's going that way. Oh, he plays the snooker instead. But it may not be a snooker. I'd say Fred can hit the 11 ball. Not a bad shot from Fred. But still, Paul oh, must have the upper hand in this frame. Go for a long ball, the yellow ball. Bad shot from Paul there. Still leaves Fred with a chance of covering the red ball in the corner. Good shot from Fred. Very good shot. Takes cover of that pocket. So the only thing here for Paul to do is move the red ball or move it out in front of the high ball over the pocket. Good shot from Paul, leaves himself with a chance. <coughs> Paul. Good shot from Fred. Walking his way back into it slowly. Never does the rush things like that anyway. Paul having a good look at them before he decides. Playing. The 
the old shop out of black. This must be a chance for Fred if he can pop this blue ball and get position for a cross on the other one. On the pink ball. This must be a bit of a chance. He's looking at. Good screw back behind the pink ball. Not a good shot. He should have been happy to take his cross. Leaves him still with a hard. It's a hard game to finish. Of course, he could get a snoop of early sample if he kept him behind the black and the pink ball, but he didn't even look. Oh, it's coming very close to the middle. Works out very well for him. And it must be two shots. Fred must have touched the ball. And that leaves with Paul with two shots. And with two shots, he has a free table. And he can put any body legs on the table. And still carry two shots. Very unfortunate how Fred there. Paul would must must have a great chance of finishing this round. Although them balls in the side are in a bad position for a finish. He'd probably put the red down the cushion first. That's so nice, but still carrying two shots. Decides to play the five. That's still not too nice. Two shots still. Will he go for a fin on the red? I'll play the green ball to get back up. Difficult shot. Decides to go for the red ball. One shot left. We'll probably tip in for a snooker. experienced player. The referee probably standing in the way of this shot, but Paul. Oh, and a foul shot from Fred. This must be the end of the game. Carrying two shots. He passed the yellow, he should nearly finish. Oh, perfect. It looks over. Still two shots. That's a very nice, but two shots in the black should be enough. It's not so nice. It's not a very nice sight. It was a very bad shot for his first shot, but probably lying behind the black for another snooker. Doesn't look like a snooker. My friend is very unlucky. He could go in off. Good shot from Fred. 
Fred with a chance now that he didn't look to have one minute ago. Will Paul go for this black in the bottom? A difficult throw. I'd say Paul will probably tip for safety in the bottom caution. Didn't reach safety, but near enough. Fred has nothing to lose now. He's going to go for one in the way against screw back to the back. Oh! This must be the end of the game. Paul with a simple black into the corner. One all. Good shot there from Paul. A good shot from Paul. Francis Cabri, our councillor, says in there. Don't forget your vote. You know where the cash are votes when time comes. Of course, I see fast Eddie, the far side of him. And I wouldn't say Eddie is thinking about votes. Probably mind drifting down as far as Dean Cogan. <laughs> and there's Colm. Colm, a regular visit to see us up here in the Pool League Finals. And there's a good shot of the crowd that's here. Few strange faces there. Oh, look at our old friend in behind. The Marx brothers are here again tonight. There's Christy, Christy Marx. And worried looking tonight. Not dancing as well as he was two years ago. And right beside him, a Waterstown fan. Well, fan or fighter, whatever way you like to put it. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> a few screen men looking for him. <laughs> now, back to the third game. Derek Hurricane Brennan versus A.O. Farrell, of course, A.O. AO winning the break and deciding to break off. Not a bad break, but we would have to keep Derek fairly safe. This could be a very, this could be the match of that final. Derek deciding to take the high ball. Take the nine. Good shot from Derek, but they're over inclined to pot too many balls and leave themselves. A good shot from Derek. That's the shot. Ao, who celebrated his 21st bat birthday yesterday, decides to celebrate with the League Cup tonight. to break a few of his own balls out of the pack. Moreo, a very good player. And Derek, very difficult shot here. Derek, better known as a snooker player. Juvenile All Ireland champion couple of years ago. Great shot from Derek. A 
Steve Nail. Safety shot. Derek with a chance of putting his green ball over the near pocket. But drifts away from the pocket and goes safe. This is a hard shot for Mayo. A good snooker, I'd say. I've seen our millionaire ref going in there and telling him the balls are touching. You wouldn't get a piece of dirt, he said, even with a hoover from between them balls. <laughs> ah, great shot from Derry. And they will probably put the white ball back in the same position. Oh, well, decides to tip in again. Good shot from Derek. <coughs> Derek, playing another ball out. Good shot for me, Alvaro. Derek deciding to cover the bottom corner. Derek will probably tip in here for a snooker. Good chance. Well. Makes Ayo play the two difficult balls in the corner. A very good shot from Ayo. Leaves Derek in the snooker. Good shot from Derek. This has turned out to be a very good game. This been build as the game of the final. Good shot from Mayo. Another hard snooker for Derek. <laughs> A brilliant stroke from Derek. This is very good pool. Ah, lovely play from Derek. <coughs> and they are looking for another snooker. A lovely, lovely shot from Derek again. Another good shot. I think all this practice Derek is doing up in Parnell Park is paying off. Another good one. That ball going very close to the far corner. This is turned out to be the game of the final. Good shot from Derek again. That's a great shot. And the ball's in a good position for a snooker again. Oh, this man is really walking his way for two shots. This is a hard snooker, but 
the way Derek is getting out of them, not going to be too hard. A brilliant shot from Derek. And he's really playing well. This man, Derek, he'd get out of jail at the minute. Deciding to play the five ball into the middle. Oh, there's the wrong shot. This could be a chance for Derek, although the back is lying very safe. Oh, going very close. But finds nice safety. Nice shot from Ao there. And Derek playing the brown ball down to move to black with his next shot, I'd right say. Good shot there from Ao. Not a good shot from Derry. <coughs> and mind you, there's a fair good crowd here tonight. I hope the pay is as good as the crowd. <coughs> yes, Derry is moving that ball towards the black ball. And now, with a hard chance now of getting a snooker. But I'd say he could be playing one again behind the green bar. And this would be a hard one. That's a very good snooker. on the table to get out with this one. But the way he's doing it so far, it's not asking a lot. Very bad luck on Derek there. And gives two shots to AO. It could be the end of the game. This man has been working for two shots the whole time. Good shot from Ayo. Still carrying two shots. Very good. Still with two shots. Decides to move the pink ball. Well, could be a good move. Only one shot now. And hard enough to get position. But Derek, very definitely about who he'd get back to the table. <coughs> Must play the five ball. Not a very nice shot. If he can just hit it. And by the look of that face, I'd say it's a bit of a snooker. Oh, a good shot.
hopefully go for this black. He probably go for this black. He decided to go on the top. Brilliant throw. Leak is for 2 1. A very good shot now. A very, very good shot. And that must leave all the pressure on Aquas B now to come back. And Yorkie getting refreshments in. Look at that. He won't run out of water for a while. I, I hear he give up cleaning chimneys for land. <laughs> There's Jack Taylor. Bard. Bard from a couple of years ago. Is he looking for reinstatement? We're having a break now for 10 minutes. Or is he calling the guards? He looks very serious anyway. I see Jack over there getting on to George Gibney. I'm sure we have a 10 minute break after this game. And now, back to the fourth game. Philip Butler. And Martin Farley. Actually, better known as Pinna Butler. Martin Farley decides to break. Of course, Martin, better known as a dart player. And Pinner deciding to take the high balls. A good shot from Pinner. Martin on the low balls. And this must be a game that Martin has to win to give his team any sort of a chance. <laughs> Martin decides to play safety. Safety shot there from Philip. Oh, Martin. Oh, Martin, you give away two shots. Then they're now with a free table, which means he can put any ball on the table and still carry two shots. One shot from Penna, and still two shots. Another good one, and still carrying two shots. This game could be over. He's carrying two shots. And realises he's having a good luck. Probably pat this now and say, oh, a bad miss. And still only one shot. He 
He believed himself under pressure in a way patent as well. Another bad shot. But he makes up with a very good shot. And now Martin looks as he has it all to do. He'll probably come off the cushion behind the red ball. But a good shot from Martin. Look. chance now carrying two shots Martin it leaves Martin as he's able to pot any ball on the table and probably start by potting Penner's blue ball in the corner but Martin doesn't seem to realise they can clear a pocket he's looking decides to take the blue ball Good shot, Martin. Still carrying two shots. Oh, very, very near the cushion. But still, with two shots in hand. Will he run this right down along the cushion? I think he's running the red down to the bottom corner. Good shot from Martin. One shot left. Undecided on why he'd play, but his shot never be the tip between the purple and the blue. Good shot for Martin. Martin beginning to get back into this game. You know what a difficult stroke. A good stroke from Penna. Gets out of that fairly well. Play the red ball over the bottom corner. Oh, very easy, man. Very easy. And Penna deciding to bring the ball down. Martin beginning to get the upper hand in this frame. Deciding to take the green ball. A good shot. This must be leaving Martin with a chance now. Martin deciding to play the purple. Nice shot from Martin. Just to bide his time now. Look for two shots. cameraman having a pull out a wire here. <laughs> 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 
Dat had ik voor het jaar van Velop. Nog een kort shot van Maagden. Maagden in een good position. Yes. Good shot there for Maagden. Another safety shot from Maagden. The referee having a side look at that. Now, 15 into the middle. Probably won't call for it. There's safety instead. We could be in for a long one here. Martin. Playing very cagey, knowing he must win this one. No, he must have a bit of a chance. But knowing Martin, he won't go till he has two shots. If he was to put a green ball and dip behind the red. Good shot. Still pin up. Pinned, as I might say. A good, a good shot from Penner there. That'll pin Martin back in his tracks for a while. Good shot for Martin. I can't understand them looking at this ball. If it's touching, it doesn't matter whether it's touching or not. You can push a ball. And now Martin, a good shot from Martin. And this man playing it has...